you by the title of this video, I'd bring you along for a morning routine. And I say a morning routine because it changes and that's what I wanted to speak about and basically share how I'm trying to be more intuitive with what I do throughout the day, in particular in the mornings, like how I set myself up through the day depends on the season that we're in, the time of my menstrual cycle that I'm in, how I just feel in general. Like I find my energy levels are so different one week to the next and there are really small things that I can do to make sure that I feel better in myself. So yeah, I thought I would just use this video as an opportunity to do that. Like thinking back to when I lived in Manchester and even before that, regardless of what time of the year it is, I would typically wake up at half five. Which to me now I'm like, how? There will be some days in the summer where I wanna wake up early and use that morning time. But in the depths of winter, I was waking up at half five and then I'd have like two and a half hours in darkness. It just doesn't make sense to me anymore. So yeah, I try to listen to my body more and just know that it can change. I'd say now that my routine is almost split in two. So I've got the routine that I'll typically tend to do kind of past the ovulation phase, like in the second half of my cycle, which I'm in now, which is a little bit slower. I spend more time at home. I do more mindful movement and kind of swap out a gym session for that basically. And I sleep longer as well. And then there's the routine that I do kind of, I guess, just after putting my period up until ovulation phase where I typically have so much more energy, feel way better in myself. Like I feel really good. And with that, I find that I need to actually exert more energy and I do like weight-based workouts and things like that. So yeah, that's how I've been doing it. And it's working so much better. Like I cannot tell you how nice it is to lean into that and like on the week of my period i will go downstairs make a cup of tea get back into bed and read and just chill and what i found has helped me think about this and realize what works best for me is through journaling so i was just keeping a little journal a track of what makes me feel good what doesn't what kind of energy levels are like during the cycle i also have the clue app which i use to like track certain things and it's just made me see how much it ebbs and flows through the 28 days. And then as we come into spring and summer and we have the lighter mornings, I'm a morning person. So I will definitely be probably like shifting the time back that I sleep or sleeping a little bit less during that time. Um, and I just find that that really suits my energy levels. I'm gonna go downstairs, make a cup of tea. I'm actually getting a train today. So my routine's a little bit different because I'm packing this morning. I'm going to stay at friends tonight in Manchester so things are a little bit shifted but yeah I thought I'd bring you along nonetheless. Such a typical well-being wellness thing I'm really trying to get better at drinking water. I don't know how after eight years of being conscious of the fact that I need to drink more, it still isn't happening. I'm quite good. If I'm sat at my desk, there is no problem because I'll have my water bottle next to me. I'm in that routine of doing it. But I think because it wasn't part of my morning, I'd come down here, make a cup of tea and just forget to make a glass of water. So I'm trying to do that more and I do feel better for it actually. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I was basically waking up thirsty in the middle of the night so I was like hmm, I think I need to drink more water. In terms of breakfast I have been obsessed with <laughs> this Emily English recipe. I'll leave a link in the description box. It is the nicest savoury breakfast I've ever had and you can prep it. So what I did last week is on Monday I made I think four or five of these bagels. I actually did five. Froze two of them, kept the other three in the fridge so every morning then, all I had to do was take out this bagel, put it in the air fryer, and it's it's so tasty. I cannot believe how good it tastes, but also it's healthy because it's a high protein breakfast. And I need to eat more protein basically in the mornings, especially at the beginning of my cycle. I've run out of them and we don't have any bagels in, so I'm thinking that I might do pancakes today. I do tend on the weekends to just kind of freestyle a little bit because usually, I mean, I don't really have much on and I'll just be taking it easy. Yeah, I think today I'm gonna make some protein pancakes. And if I ever use protein, it's this one from Form. I always just try to make sure that I've got it in. It's their 
performance protein in the chocolate peanut. I'm gonna make some pancakes. Breakfast was delish. I'm now gonna put on a little bit of makeup. I need to go and get a fresh one of these. I do have a backup. The Aboy and CC Cream use it every day. You've seen this all before. <laughs> Don't want this video to just be a repeat and really boring, but yeah, I am trying to, I realized actually, so I've been working from home now since the start of what we all experienced four years ago. And I realized that you know, I need to get ready for the day, whether that is putting on a little bit of makeup, putting on an outfit. It's kind of like, it's made me realize that I think before, and I mean, I was in my early twenties, but part of me would get ready for other people. But there's something about getting ready for yourself and feeling ready for the day and it does help me. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. It's like an extra 15 minutes of my day. I just find that the day does run smoother if I've got dressed into actual clothes, not just my yoga stuff. And I put on a little bit of makeup. So that is, yeah, it's become quite a big part of my routine. In terms of resources, when it comes to living more in alignment with your menstrual cycle, there is a really good pos podcast that I've just finished called 28-ish Days Later. I think it's that. I'll leave it linked in the description box. And then there's also Maisie Hill's book, Period Power. So I read... Maisie Hill's book last year and I am actually going to revisit that again um this podcast has kind of re-sparked my um I guess my interest in it and just wanted to know more about it and both of them are really good I'd actually recommend just starting off with the podcast because it's a free podcast and obviously you can see what you think but I have found it just so interesting my guess is that most if not all of the people watching this have a menstrual cycle and if you think about it the way that society is set up and the way that our lives are and how we're expected to show up it doesn't align with that at all and I actually found I really enjoyed all of the research and things that were put into the 28 days ish later podcast um because there's just a lot in there that for me really makes sense and yeah just kind of highlighted and reminded me why living in this way is important. I feel like sometimes you can almost feel like you're being a bit awkward for going against the grain. I know that I definitely did when I wanted to like spend more time in nature and move out of a city and just live a little bit slower. I kind of felt like I was losing a part of my identity and a way of living that I'd known before. I thought to round off this video, I'd come into my office and share a little bit more about period power because this basically is what informed this decision to kind of not have such a rigid morning routine. How this is set out and how the cycle is presented really I feel like works for me because basically it refers to the cycle as seasons. So your winter is when you're on your period, your spring is that time after that, your summer is when you're in your fertile window and then autumn is that time leading up to your next period. And that for me makes sense like energy wise i completely align with it so there's certain times in the month where it's going to make much more sense for me to have like my more intense workouts to have social things within work to have more calls to just be more present with those things whereas on the flip side of that the time i'm in right now where i'm kind of just past that like fertile window bit come into war. I'm in my autumn basically. I'm in my autumn. And I mean I'm going to see a friend this weekend, but it's one of them where it's just really easy to connect and it, it basically don't put yourself in social situations that are gonna be exhausting and like drain your energy when you're during that time. And it just makes sense to me like kind of thinking about my behaviours and how I am throughout the month. It yeah really works. And throughout this 
it kind of takes you through all of the different seasons and then recommendations based on that and i just found it really useful and actually filming this video has made me want to look at this more outside of kind of hormone related stuff and cycles and coming back to a morning routine something that i find is consistent is having a moment to be present whether that is doing a yoga nidra practice which i'm doing at the moment whether it is going outside like in the summer in spring i try and make the most of the outdoors in the morning so i'll sit out there with a cup of tea and listen to the birds whether it is doing a meditation which if there's a day when i go to the gym i don't have as much time so instead of doing a yoga nidra i'll do a meditation like something where i can just be because yeah, it just really helps to root me in the present moment and also gives me a chance to think about how I want the rest of the day to go. I find that if I miss that step, I do feel a little bit off. So even just doing something for, I'd say like the minimum I do now is 10 minutes of a meditation where it'll be a seated practice and I can just like reconnect, realign, come back into the present. Um, I can be quite anxious or feel overwhelmed by like the plans of the day. So I do just find with that, it like really helps me to just like that physical thing of coming back to myself really helps. That is it for this video. Thank you for spending the morning with me coming along as I get ready for the day. I will leave anything that I've mentioned in this video linked in the description box. So books, products, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.